My name is Trey McIntyre and I am a choreographer. I was a super creative kid and I was involved in theater uh, quite a bit. Uh, but I was also like much shorter and much wider. I was a heavy kid and so I would go to dance auditions like for musical theater and didn't do that well. And so um, my mom basically put me in ballet class. I didn't like it that much. It was very repetitive. But I think because I was a creative kid, I immediately went, okay, somebody's making up choreography. So I just started making up my own stuff. I used to skip class a lot. Like my parents would drop me off and I'd go next door and like get a Slurpee or something. And there was one day that I was in the parking lot teaching some steps I'd made up to some friends of mine. And my teacher was watching me from the class that I was supposed to be in through the window. And so she came outside and asked me what I was doing. And uh, what I told her, you know, instead of me being in trouble, she said, well, why don't you come inside and teach this to the rest of the class? Growing up really in what I consider the heartland and really in the Great Plains, um, I think I, I have a very American sensibility as a choreographer. This sense of being connected to the earth and this sense of space and this sense of being thoughtful about how you, how you treat other people. The, the work that I've created for San Francisco Ballet features nine dancers. My approach to it came from a little over a year ago when my father passed away. My sister had been going through some old photographs and she started sending me these really like beautiful old photos. And I was struck by this one photo of my grandfather and he was wearing this like really like tough football uniform from the like 1920s about. And he just looked so slick, like combat boots and these really cool pants. And I never really knew him. He died when I was very young, but I always imagined and in what ways might we have been similar. And so my idea was since the first day of rehearsal was the eclipse, you know, not to load a bunch of like mysticism onto it, but we do know that the shifting of the planets has some influence. And um, I thought, okay, imagine what if this, what if this portal opened up from this alignment where I had this one day to um, interact with my grandfather. This piece was my way of getting to know him and, and figure out who he was. Unbound is a tough word with ballet because on some level we are constricted by the language that we're attempting to utilize. You know, I think when I was a, a young choreographer, my gut was to completely obliterate what those boundaries were. It was my boss at the time who really helped me ground that in the vocabulary of my classical inheritance. It was interesting to see how liberating that could be in a, in a way because, you know, ballet technique is, I guess, the most perfect system I can think of for organizing all of this, what the body is. Um, and so in some ways it's like speaking articulately. So within that, um, to still uh, innovate um, and to still find what's new inside of that is the most exciting part and that's the reason that I'm in it.